Hi, welcome to this presentation of the American Board's online teacher certification program. What I'm going to do is walk through exactly how the program operates in the state of Wisconsin. This is the same presentation that you would receive if you attended one of our free information sessions hosted by a local representative. I'll cover everything about how the program works in Wisconsin, what the Wisconsin DPI requires, and how you could potentially become a certified teacher in a Wisconsin public school. So let's get started. I always like to start with who we are and why we do what we do. We are a nonprofit organization that was founded in 2001 by a grant from the U.S. Department of Education, and we are an officially recognized alternative route to teacher certification. Now I'm going to go off script here. What that means is that we help people who have bachelor's degrees in any field become certified to teach. So you can earn teacher certification even if your undergraduate degree was in science or political science or history or math or... IT. We help career changers get certified to teach in classrooms. In turn, what that helps do is communities to train up teachers within their community to become teachers in the local school. So it helps address the teacher shortage. Now, how do we do that? Let's get into the specifics. How our program works was designed to be very simple and very straightforward. A bachelor's degree in any field is all you need in order to enroll in our program. So if you have a bachelor's degree, it doesn't have to match the area you want to get certified in, and you can pass a standard background check, that's all you need to enroll. We have open enrollment in our program, which means that 365 days a year, you can sign on to our website or speak with our enrollment specialist over the phone and enroll in our program. There's no semesters and no classes. So if you have those two things, what do you need to do? Once you're in our program, you study online for two certification exams, a subject area exam that you choose, and a PTK, a professional teacher knowledge exam. That's our pedagogy exam, and that covers basically how to teach. For our purposes of our program, you take and pass these two certification exams to earn our teacher certification. Now, if you've done your research about how education certification works in Wisconsin, I'm going to talk a little bit about the EdTPA. The EdTPA is a national program that requires you to build a portfolio. If you do our program, the EdTPA is not required. Now here I want to emphasize something that's very important. We are, out of many, many ways to get certified in the state of Wisconsin, we are the only program where the EdTPA is not required. I'm going to say that again because it's pretty significant. The EdTPA is not required for our program, and we are the only program operating in the state of Wisconsin that does not require the EdTPA. Now let's get back to how it works. Candidates in our program have 12 months from the day that you enroll to complete our fully self-paced and self-study program. Now I'm going to go off script again. The average time to complete the program is about 7 to 10 months. Having said that, we've had candidates complete in as few as two months. Typically, those candidates have been working as substitute teachers for a number of years. But because the program is completely self-paced and entirely online, it really depends on how many hours a week you can devote to studying. We recommend five to seven hours a week set aside to study, and then depending on how much you already know and how quickly you learn, seven to ten months is a pretty good indicator. That's our average. Once you've finished studying and once you're ready to take the exams, you sign up at your local Pearson View Testing Center and you can find one pretty close to your house. They're scattered everywhere. So once you've taken and passed both exams, you get our certification, which you then take to the Wisconsin DPI, um, the Department of Public Instruction, to apply for their professional development, or excuse me, to apply for their temporary license and start your professional development requirements. And don't worry, I'm going to get to that. You're going to teach on a provisional license for three years while you go through all the observations and mentorships that are required of a new teacher in the state of Wisconsin. So when you become a new teacher, no matter how you got there, ooh, I skipped ahead. 
No matter how you got there, there are a couple of hoops that the DPI makes you jump through, and that's pretty typical of all new teachers. So during your initial time on that provisional license, there's usually a district mentorship program. What we like to recommend is if you know where you might want to teach, reach out to that school district and ask what their mentorship program is. So you've been teaching on the DPI, you are on the DPI's initial license, you've done your mentorship program, you've gone through the standard observations, you would then upgrade to a renewable license that then just every standard teacher has to renew every couple of years. Sometimes it's three years, sometimes it's five years. Depends on your district and depends on your state. So resources for you. Here's what we provide. As an online course, we provide all of our materials completely online. We don't mail you anything. You don't, we don't send you textbooks. If you do history certification specifically, then you can order. There's two actual textbooks you can get through Amazon for about $20 to $30 each, which for textbooks is really not that bad. But for the most part, everything is online, and it was designed that way. The materials, the quizzes, the exams, everything was designed to be online so that you can study at your own time and at your own pace. So when you do the practice quizzes, keep in mind the practice quizzes were designed for you to know when you're ready to take the actual exams. So if you're doing the practice quizzes and you score an 80% or, or more than that on the exams, that's a good indicator you're probably ready to take the real exam. Now, I'm going to get into the specifics of cost for just a minute. The initial testing fees are included in the cost of the program. Here's what that means. When you purchase our program, you purchase all the study materials and you purchase one attempt at each exam. If you pass both exams on the first attempt, then all your fees have been covered. If for some reason you don't pass one of the exams, and I'll say here most of our candidates do pass on the first or second attempt, the majority on the first, but we do have some people who take the second attempt. Most people pass on the second attempt if they don't pass on the first. But if you have to take a second attempt, then it's $195. That's the retake fee per exam. So total, you get three attempts at each exam. The first attempt is included in the cost, and any additional attempt, you have to pay the $195 retake fee. Now, a question we get a lot is what about student teaching? How on earth can you prepare people to be teachers without student teaching? Which is a good question, but it gets to the heart of why we were created. We were created for people who have bachelor's degrees and who have been working in other fields for a number of years. So a lot of times, student teaching is not going to have the same effect for someone who has been working for 10 years versus a 21-year-old undergrad. So student teaching is not required for our program. Um, we have a lot of candidates who don't need it at all. They sail through and they start teaching and they love it. Most schools also have a mentorship option in place to help new teachers. And this basically accomplishes the same function as student teaching, but you're doing it on the ground in real time and you're getting paid for it because you get paid as a regular teacher from day one once you have our certification. Now, having said all that, we highly recommend that you substitute teach prior to completing your certification with us. And this is for two reasons, or we like to tell people to look for two specific things. One, to make sure that you know what subject area you really want to teach. Maybe you think you want to teach general science, but once you're substitute teaching, you discover what you really want to teach is biology or physics. Or maybe you think you want to teach middle school, but really you discover you want to teach 10th grade or 11th grade. It's very important before you earn your certification to make sure that you know exactly the subject area you want to teach and the grade or the age range you want to teach. And a lot of times you can't get that information without being in the classroom. So we highly recommend student teaching for those two reasons. So that you make sure you know what grade range you want to teach or what age range and what subject area. Once you get into high school, each subject area does get very specific by grade. Most states, there's one year in high school where you learn, um, it, for history, you'll learn 
world history. You'll learn U.S. history. You'll learn your state history, Wisconsin history. So it varies by year. If you know you want to teach Wisconsin history, but you don't want to teach world history, or if you're teaching um, one of the sciences, if you know you want to teach biology, but you don't want to teach chemistry, it's better to figure that out through substitute teaching than after you've earned your certification and get into the classroom. So again, we do highly recommend that you try substitute teaching. But for the purposes of our program, student teaching is not required. Now let's get into the specifics of what we actually offer. We offer these subject areas in the state of Wisconsin. Biology, chemistry, elementary education, which is first through eighth grade, English, general science, history, math, physics, special education, and reading endorsement. Now, special education, we offer mild to moderate only. Moderate to severe would require a different certification. And if you're interested in moderate to severe, I do recommend that you reach out to your local district and ask them what their recommendation is as far as certification. Now, you'll notice for some of these, there's a little asterisk next to them. We do offer a premium plan for those subject areas. However, the standard plan, which is what we offer for every subject area, is more than sufficient to prepare you for the exams. So in general, we don't recommend the premium plan except in the case of special education. For the other areas, if you want the premium plan, it's a $200 extra charge to get the extra materials, and that's some additional quiz banks and some additional study materials. If you want them, they're available, but we don't recommend them because really the standard plan covers everything you need in order to gain certification to pass our exams. Now let's get into what's offered, um, excuse me, what's required by the Wisconsin Department of Education. To use our certificate in the state of Wisconsin, you will need to complete the following steps. You'll need to pass our pedagogy and subject exam. That's basically completing our program. Submit your transcripts and pass a federal background check to us. You get your certification and you take what's called an institutional recommendation or an IR for short from the American Board. You take the IR to the Wisconsin DPI, the Pub Department of Public Instruction, for a teaching license. Then you can begin teaching in the Wisconsin school. We have all this information available on our website at www.americanboard.org forward slash Wisconsin. Now let's get a little bit into why you would use the American Board as a path to teacher certification. If you are in a position where you have a busy life and a busy schedule and you can't stop what you're doing or quit your job to go back to school, we were designed for you. As a self-paced, self-study program, we were created for students who need that flexibility in order to gain teacher certification. Additionally, we are much more affordable than an alternative route to certification like a master's program. Now, a master's of education can take anywhere from two to three to four years and cost tens of thousands of dollars. A lot of people don't have that kind of time and don't have that kind of money to spare. So we were designed to be affordable, flexible, and self-paced for that exact reason, so that anyone can get certified if they have the will and if they have the intelligence to pass our certification exams. Additionally, we're state approved, which is a big deal in the state of Wisconsin because anything that's state approved, that opens more doors for you when you go looking for jobs. So having said all that, that's why I like to say the American Board is one of the best options for you to get certified in the state of Wisconsin because no other program offers these things. And again, let me point out, our program does not require the Ed TPA, and we are the only program in the state of Wisconsin that does not have that requirement. Now, if you'd like to try our program for yourself, see what the materials look like, try the practice exams and practice quizzes, we do offer a free seven-day trial of our program. It is completely no obligation. We don't ask for a credit card. We don't ask for any kind of a commitment. You enroll in the free trial and you get seven days to look at our entire program. All the materials, all the practice quizzes, all the practice exams. You can look at the materials and decide for yourself if this is a good fit for you. If it seems like it's a good fit, you can call our enrollment specialist or you can enroll online. But this way, you get your own look at the materials to determine for yourself if this is a good path for you 
for teacher certification. So if you're on the fence, if you're not sure if this is right for you, or if you're just curious, there's no obligation. I really recommend you do the free trial, check out our materials, check out the practice quizzes, get a feel for the level of the materials, and see if this is the right fit for you. Now we're coming to the end of our presentation, so I'm going to put the contact information up on the screen. If you have questions, you're welcome to reach out through phone. We have an enrollment specialist who's on Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. And we have someone who answers phones until 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well. If you have questions, we're happy to answer them. You can email us at info at AmericanBoard.org or you can visit our website at AmericanBoard.org and the state page, the page for Wisconsin, answers a lot of these questions as well. We're happy to answer any questions that you have before you enroll. We're actually happy to answer any questions you have after you enroll. But as you're trying to make your decision on making a career change into education, we want to make sure you have all the information that you need to make an informed decision. So I invite you to reach out to us either through the phone or through email to answer any questions that you have and consider the American Board as an option to get certified as a teacher in the state of Wisconsin. Thank you for listening to this presentation, and I hope you check us out at www.americanboard.org.